Daniel Craig has obviously done two Bond films yeah. and they're shooting a third. Is that, are, you, are you sort of thinking, you know what, if I do enough of these secret agent type stuff, I might get in there? I, I doubt it very much. I'm not, no, I'm not thinking that at all. I think, I think Daniel Craig will be there for the, for the rest of his, his life, really. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Um, no, I don't think so. I think, I think I'm sort of stretching my action hero legs here and now, so I'm quite happy with it. The sky, especially now it's gone HD, is doing a lot of the big American stuff, and, and it really feels like this one's starting to punch, not, I wouldn't say above its weight, but at the same level. Did that, do you get that feeling too? Yeah, I mean, it was ambitious, which I, I liked. It's like, it was like shooting three feature films, and, you know, the budgets are good, but they're still not feature film budgets, and I think it, what it does is it forces the script writers to, to come up with something really, really inventive, and when you can't shoot uh, a, a giant battleship with aeroplanes coming off it, you have to think of something else, and I think the, the effort goes into the script, and that's certainly what Dan Percival did with, with these scripts and Jed um, Mercurio. I think it was, uh, it's, a, it's a very good adaptation of, of uh, Chris's book and it gives it a longer shelf life. I think there, there, are, you know, there is a life after the single story. Um, I didn't actually. I, I was I was kind of wary of it because I know that the war epic has been kind of trodden many times before and I, I just didn't want to turn out more of the same but then uh, after I looked at the character I realised that there was perhaps something in there that I could mine and, and, and in my own little ways reinvent uh, the kind of war hero so it became more of a challenge than, than anything else and it, it's interesting because it, it sort of backs onto Spooks quite nicely because it's almost uh, the antithesis of, of that character so it was, it was thrilling to kind of to work on, on, uh, on John Porter. Because I guess obviously you've, uh, in this thing, you've, I suppose you've left MI5 and you joined MI6 now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's, it's the part of uh, MI5 that everyone's itching to do is get out into the field and, uh, and really kind of stretch one's legs so yeah you're absolutely right.